All right, on this part of the show, we're going to be uh, doing some hog hunting. Actually, we're going to introduce this young man. It'll be his first time to ever actually hunt hogs using thermal gear. Now, his name is Ian, and Ian won this trip through our friends over at Pulsar, and Pulsar Equipment is who we've been using for a thermal for a long time. So uh, let me tell you about the rifle that you're going to be shooting. This is my rifle. This is a, a 308 caliber rifle, and uh, it's tricked out completely with Timber Creek gear. So you'll notice it uh, doesn't look like any normal Nemo. It's all customized. On the end of it, uh, we've got a suppressor, and this is from the folks over at Silencer Shop. But on the top of it, this is the this is the important part. This is a Pulsar Trail Rifle Scope, and it records audio and video. And so tonight, what you're going to be able to do, you, if, if we run into the hogs, and hopefully we will, the weather's kind of goofy right now, but uh, if we do, you're going to be able to see them from a long, long ways away. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get close enough and Randy or Gerald, one of the two, is gonna get you in position to where you can take a shot. And this right here, I think when you're recording the audio and video from the inside of the scope, I think you're gonna be blown away, it's pretty cool. Yes, sir. My name is Ian. I was fortunate enough to win Keith's Pulsar giveaway, and I was really excited to be able to come out here and go hog hunting with him. My name is Randy Tash, I'm with Night Hogs. Tonight we're going on a wild hog hunt with Keith Warren and a young man who won a hunt on the Pulsar giveaway. We've been hunting with Keith Warren for a long time. He's a great friend of ours. I think this is probably our sixth TV show with him. He's a lot of fun. We have a great time every time we go out. Let the goggles right on the ground. Hand the gun to him over the fence. Okay, take the easy on. Pigs are not far. They're right up here in front of us. And pigs are not far, maybe 80 or 100 yards in front of us. So we need to be pretty quiet. So I shot the hog and he fell dead in his tracks, cold, hard, without hardly any movement. It was pretty awesome. No running or anything, he just fell right flat. I'd say this is about 150, 160 pound hog and look at that shot placement. Just about perfect. Uh, he's got a little bit of mud here from rolling in the mud holes and stuff and he's a little bit dirty but he's going to be a great hog to eat. Looks like he's got some pretty decent cutters over there too, doesn't he? Yep, not, I mean, they're not really big, but they're pretty decent size for a hog this size. This is exactly what we want to do. We want to put the bullet right there, make a good, clean, ethical, moral kill shot. We don't waste any meat. We don't have any tracking of the hog. Everything goes smooth. And Ian did a perfect job of putting the shot right where it needed to be. Tonight was my first hog hunt. It was really fun. I had a great time going out there and being able to do this. Tonight we had a fellow named Ian with us, and he was a terrific guy, young man, great shot. He was kind of quiet, but he had a really good time. We really enjoyed hunting with him and hope he'll be back. 